Yes, sir. What we got in the building today, we got some selections up in here. And today I want something that's a scotch that's that's a little bit more refined and wow. Ooh, what we got right there, the Spring Bank 12 year cash strength 2019 is in the building. Yes, sir. Sitting at 57.1% spring bank cash strength mm-hmm you see it you see it we're gonna dig into that we're gonna dig all into it the camel town funk is in the building spring bank 12 year cash strength let's go what's up baby drams on deck i really don't need no words but i'm gonna give it to you anyway just because that's just what i do that's part of my job description i'm gonna break it down to you you already see what time it is. The Spring Bank 12 year cast strength 2019 edition is in the damn building. You see it. Yes, sir. You see it. Yes, sir. Look at it. Ain't it beautiful? Ain't it? 12 year cast strength sitting at 57% with his chest all out nice and mighty. Cast strength. Put a little hair in your chest if you ain't used to it. This much, the box really ain't much too. It's just spring bank, red. You don't really give a damn about the box. But what we damn, what we do care about is this right here. This potion. This right here. Look at the color. Look at the color. This is a light amber color. Very light amber. A little caramelly right there. Uh-huh. 57%. And this one right here, if I do say so, it, it has a very strong cult following. There's some spring bank nuts out there. And this, like when I first started drinking scotch years ago, I mean, I was huge, and still am to a certain extent, but like McAllen was like my number one go-to. Like McAllen was my baby baby. And through the years, I've tried so many different things, and now I, I got, I mean, I still got love for McAllen, but I, there's other things in scotch world that I enjoy. So I love the Glendronics. I love the Balvinis. Um, just to name a couple. I love Brutalites. I love damn near anything they come out with. The, uh, the Isla. Uh, collection, the Bear Barley, uh, the Organic, Octomores, Black Art, etc. And Spring Bank is another one that's that's on there. I like the Cavalons too, as y'all know. But Spring Bank is another one that, that I really enjoy because they have the Spring Bank, this collection. You know, they have the local barley and whatnot. Um, and then, you know, they also have one of these where I have right behind me, the Long Grows too. So that's part of the Spring Bank family. So Spring Bank is it has a huge cult following. It's, it's, it's from the Campbelltown section uh, in Scotland, and they they do they pump out a lot of good stuff. So this is their cash strength version, twelve year. Um, Spring Bank comes out uh, multiple editions, but the most sought after ones or the high acclaimed ones, cat twelve year cash. The cash strength is is one of them, but another one is the actual twenty one year and twenty five year. The twenty one year ballpark goes for like. Well, it depends on where you get it from, but I would say it's at least three fifty and up. And for the twenty-five year spring bank, that's usually around we'll say at least four hundred and up. I mean, if you're lucky, you can maybe go to Costco, depending on where you live at, and, and get it a deal. But when you when you get to the twenty-one and the twenty-five, we're looking at ballpark with taxes. You're gonna be looking at four hundred and, and up. So anyway, this one right here, I had this bottle for about eight months. I paid roughly around a hundred and ten bucks, maybe something around there, for this. Uh, I got it from one of the stores in the, in the San Diego area, which is where I do live. Um, Spring Bank, uh, twenty nineteen cash drink. And so you know, this actually is my I want to say my first uh, Spring Bank bottle. I've tried it before at, uh, at, at different times. This is the, probably the first. Yeah, this is the first bottle that I've owned. I've had this for a while, I've been let, I've just been letting it sit and percolate. I also have a longer over there. But this one right here, uh, 2019, and this one right here from what my uh, my uh, what I read, uh, this is around 50-50, so 50% sherry, 50% uh, bourbon. And if I'm wrong, please correct me in the uh, description box, in the comment box, rather. Uh, but you know, um, every year, so even though the, uh, the uh, Spring Bank comes out, it usually it has different compositions. So sometimes it may be port wine, it may be 75% sherry, 30% bourbon. Just the, the percentages usually change. It may, be, it may be first fill. Some may be more a little bit more funky than the other. When I say funk, people who are uh, Spring Bank fans know when I say that Spring Bank or that Campbelltown funk, 
you know what I'm talking about. It has like a like a dirty attic kind of a smell to it, um, but it definitely has a enhanced taste. I will say that. So some people may have a very peculiar or perky. Uh, it may have a real finicky or touchy uh, nose. Some people may not like the, the nose of the spring bank. Uh, however, uh, even though it may smell that way sometimes, I don't get the, I don't, it doesn't taste like that, at least not on my palate. Uh, but anyway, so uh, definitely, like I said, definitely, definitely, I was happy to review this spring. I had this for a while. I want to make sure I let it air out. I want, you know, like my good vibes, I don't want to just review as soon as I get it. I want to experience a little bit, let it, let some air get in the bottle, get definitely past the neck pour so I can really, really get to the true, the heart and the essence of the bottle. And right here, I'm down to halfway through it. So I, I'm pretty, pretty much at the point where it's time to review and really dig into it. This, you know, I have a, a time for it to let it air out, oxidize. And uh, this is a perfect time to throw this review in there. So, I'm going to share it with y'all, and uh, let's go. I'm going to give you the nose, the tasting, and the scoring, as always. Let's see what this nose is talking about. Let's see how funky it is today. You dig? <sighs> All right, now. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that funky today. I must admit, it's not It's not funky like like I would, you know, like some of them are. It's, it's not too funky for me. I get a lot. I'm getting some nectar, man, some honeycomb. Vanilla. That's what I get. Vanilla, honeycomb. Maybe a little spice, like a cinnamon or nutmeg. Pretty nice, man. It smells very soft. I mean, it has some punchiness to it, but still, it's very soft, very approachable. It's not burning the nose hairs. It's not making my eyes water. It's not, you know, very uh, pungent like that. It's, it's pretty good. Been letting the air out for a little while too before. <sighs> All right, without further ado, let's get down. Let's do what we came here to do. Spring Bank 2019. Let's do this. Tastes like just a little bit of soft peat is on there, so very soft. Very, I should say smoke, not peat, but just a hint of smoke on that thing. And for, let's just say it, it gets busy. It's doing what it's supposed to do right now. It really is. But before I dive deep into the the, um, the notes, let me take one more sip because as I always tell y'all, at least on my palate. The first sip kind of opens up, I sensitize, tingles my palate. And the second sip really saturates my palate. I can really seep into my pores. I can really dive into the notes more. That being said, the second sip is down the hatch right now. Let's go. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the spring bang is on right here. I smell like I get the, the sherry, I get that vanilla note probably from the bourbon. But I could you not, it tastes like a, a nice tea to it, like a nice sweet tea. If you got some fresh uh, squeeze, like some fresh tea, I, I taste the tea factor in there. That sherry is really, that, that sherry and bourbon is really, it's a nice mixture. I don't know how long, how many years in the bourbon, how many years in the sherry. Whatever the, the uh, maturation time is, is, a, is, is, is really balanced on this particular uh, bourbon. I mean, on this, uh, as I was a uh, uh, scotch here. So, 57%. And the drink's pretty easy. It does not super hot. It's not burning your throat. It's not like, argh. You know, choking you is, I mean, don't get me wrong, it has some it has some punch to it, has some heat to it. But honestly, man, it gets busy, man. It's, it's, the flavors are so damn good, and it's, it's very approachable, man. You know, like I said, it's 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 not super hot, but at the same time, it has some oomph to it. That, that You get that nice, sweet, sherry flavor. 
like a wine influence. And then you get the vanilla factor from the bourbon. It, it smells like a very like I had if I had a tea bag, like an iced tea, and just just poured you some iced tea. The season with a little bit of lemon, that 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 kind of tea. I get a little bit of that. Man, it's it's in there, man. It really is, man. And I, I really enjoy it. And, and the finish, too, is pretty decent, too. It has like a medium, pretty good medium finish to it. So it lingers a little bit, man. And I really enjoy it. But the main the main um, taste profile that I'm picking up is like just a little bit of vanilla, too. But that, that sherry wine, that vanilla, you get that, that tea, like that fresh tea. And, man, like some spice to it, like the, like a cinnamon to it. And it, it just it roll all balanced pretty well, man. It has, a, it has a pretty medium, strong medium finish to it. Uh, that being said, I had a little bit of water or two to it. Let me smell it. <sighs> Nose is pretty much the same as before. All right, with water, let's see how it tastes. I don't think it needed water, man. Tastes very similar. Doesn't taste quite as, as hot, but I was fine with the heat myself. But the, the flavor profile is still the same for me. That tea, you know, that, that wine, that sherry wine, get that van, like the vanilla from the, probably from the bourbon, that nice cinnamon, and it's in there, man. I enjoy this. Um, this right here is not easy to find, so I I would say that when it comes out, you can it's available, but it's only available for a short period or a certain period of time. Also depends on where you live at. So I live in Southern California, as as y'all know. So it's kind of like certain spots you can get it at, but I will say the longer like okay, this is 2019. Now currently you know we're in 2021. So if you was to find this, even though I had this less quite a little bit less than a year if, if i find it again at a different store the prices may be more inflated because it's it's older now a little bit more harder to get so the price the prices may fluctuate if you if you're talking about second market prices now if you live in a state that's regular you know that's like, like i'm from ohio originally cleveland to be exact so that particular if you was to find it there which you probably wouldn't find it in ohio but if you did your prices wouldn't even worry about the price inflating because it's, it's state regulated so I will say that prices definitely depend upon where you live. If you can find, if you're a state regulated, uh, like Pennsylvania state regulated and uh, Ohio state regulated, so you don't have to worry about inflation. Like as the older it gets, if you was to find this, you know, which like I said, you know, that's the gift and the curse. When you know, state regulated places like uh, certain states that have regulated where you don't have to worry about uh, second market prices, it's good because you always gonna get among some of the best prices. But the downside to that is that the availability is very scarce because a lot of times you might not get it there. Versus like where I live in California, you, I could always almost find this. But the problem is, you know, whatever, I may only pay, what, 80, 90 bucks in maybe Ohio. I could maybe find it here for about, you know, $80 more. I might have to pay 160 or for it or 150 the older it gets. So that's the, it's like the giving the curse. So I can usually find it, but it's going to be a definitely, it's not going to be at retail. That being said, this is a bomb trap. I'm gonna take one more quick sip and I'm gonna score it, y'all. Mm. Solid, y'all. Tea, wine influenced, vanilla, cinnamon. Is in there scoring one to ten, ten being the best for me. Dreams on that. If I had to score this man, I get this man. What's in there? I guess it's a solid eight seven five. So eight and three quarters is what I give this man. Just just a tad under a nine. So to me, just so y'all know, 
nine or higher is an A. So eight to nine is pretty much what I would call like a B. But this is a high B, so this is just a tad under A. So eight, eight, uh, eight, seven, five, eight and three quarters. It's a bomb draft. It's a very good score. I enjoy this draft. It's in there. Um, the factor in price availability. I knock it a half of a point. So I would knock it down to an eight two five, which is an eight and a quarter. The reason why is because even though it's certain items we know is gonna be limited, but not only that, like the price factor, um, it, it fluctuates, but like I said, depending on your state, I think this may be at least on the second market, slightly overpriced, which is a big factor in certain states. But only on, that's only half a point. It's not super available. It's not cheap. It's not something you're gonna get for 60 bucks. So that being said, um, you know, I think that there's some drams that $60 scotches that could compare with that. I'm not saying it's better than that, but for example, uh, the red breast cash strength is kind of a little bit, it's in the $60 mark a little bit more. And to me, it can compare with this. So I'm not saying, I don't know which one is better between the, even though that's an Irish whiskey and this is scotch, but they both get busy. So if I had, you know, I actually have the red breast, I reviewed that. So I wouldn't mind, do, I, you know, if y'all, if you hit me in the uh, comment blocks and you will see the Red Breast Cash Strength 12 versus uh, Spring Bank Cash Strength 12, that's a very, that's a very good head-to-head -head battle. I, they both get busy. I love that Red Breast Cash Strength. And so if I put them headed with this, this 2019 Spring Bank, I don't know, man. Those, those are two beasts. I don't know. But anyway, long story short. There's some more things that cash up that, that, that get busy. Like, when I say get busy, meaning that, FYI, I enjoy it. It's the bomb. I love it. There's other ones that's that's cheaper and more available more available than this that I can enjoy. So that's why I knock it a half a point for that. But it's still, like I said, 875 uh, on taste alone. Factory and price availability, it drops down to eight and a quarter. Still very good. 2019 Spring Bank Cash Stream Drams on Deck. I hope y'all got something out of that, man. If you have any questions, please hit me in my comment block. I always uh, respond to you guys. Um, I love the interaction, man. Please be sure if y'all if you like the video, even if you don't like it, hit me help me hit some, hit me up and tell what you want to see. But from something that you uh, would add to it, like I said, I always try to get, make it fun for you guys. So, man, you guys make it fun for me. So, if it's something that you want to add that uh, you would make a comment on, please hit me in the let me know the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, man. Please hit me up and let me know, man. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are for free. Hopefully you got some out of it. So if, you, if you're a person who's a sky drinker, such as myself, and you, you never had this before, hopefully I think that you should be able to get something out of this and kind of enjoy it. And, um, you know, I'm saying like if you if you had zero experience with it, hopefully this review can help give you sway you one way or another. Because maybe the, the flip side of that, maybe the, the taste profile that I yelled out is not quite to your liking. Then at least you know. It has a very, in addition to the flavors that I just described, it has a very small hint of smoke to it. Very small. But, um, all in all, man, this is a solid, solid dram, you know. Get this if you haven't tried it, if you like that flavor profile. Also, in my, uh, check my description box. I also have an Instagram page. I have a lot of bottles on there, uh, pictures and videos. Please check my Instagram page out if you haven't already. And also, I also have a cash app Patreon. If you choose to support uh, and make a donation, it's up to you. If I don't push you much, not a big deal. I truly appreciate that, y'all. Um, you know, as every, everybody I have, I pay for it. It's like I don't have um, like a hookup per se. Everything I have is straight out the door. So I thank y'all time, your love, your support. Um, sign out. I got more heat on the way. Trust and believe I do. Stay tuned if you want that uh, 12 versus 12 cash train. Let me know. Red Breast versus Spring Bank. Let me know. Sign out. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.